In this Q&A, uh, I've received the question about hell, and this is what this lady says. She's from uh, uh, Canada. She says, I've been going through so many of your videos. Do you have a teaching on what hell is? I know it's a blunt question, but there are many teachings out there, and I see your beliefs about inclusion and so on. Because you are so straightforward, I wonder if you have a straightforward teaching about hell. I don't have a straightforward teaching about hell, but I will just... Um, give you a straightforward answer about this and I would like to go and read from Acts uh, chapter 2 and um, I'm going to read from verse 26 it says therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope it talks about Jesus here and it says that his flesh will rest in hope it says because you will not leave my soul in hell neither will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. Right, so what is it talking about there? It's talking about the soul and it's talking about the body. Now I want to just say this, that um, that which I teach on this matter um, is what I just see the scripture says uh, according to me. And I have not uh, read this in some book somewhere. Now I don't say this, other people don't teach this. Uh, so go and study this for yourself, uh, hear what I say, and then you go and study this for yourself. Uh, this talks about Jesus, and it says that Jesus' body will rest in hope. In other words, he will rest in hope, and uh, what would that hope be? It would be the resurrection. Let me just um, read that again. So we're going to look at two things, the soul of Jesus and the body of Jesus, we can even talk about the spirit of Jesus and what that would be because those three things are not the same and uh, it's important to understand these. Right, so it says, Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover, uh, moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope. So what Jesus says here is that his flesh, talking about his body, shall rest in hope. There's those people that uh, don't talk about the hope of the Christian as the resurrection of the body wherein the flesh of man will rest in the hope of the resurrection. Because we see the hope that Jesus had for his flesh, his physical body, was the resurrection from the dead. Now, let's look at the soul. Uh, because you will not leave my soul in hell, neither will... Uh, ni neither will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. So he says that his soul will not uh, be left in hell, neither will his body see corruption. So we see the physical resurrection of the bodies. In other words, the body die and then has got the hope of the resurrection. So the body uh, goes, uh, the body goes into the grave and the physical grave and what the body suffers in the grave is corruption should there not be a resurrection of that body. Now it says here that the body of Jesus did not suffer corruption. In other words, Jesus was raised, his body was raised. So um, now the soul goes to hell. The soul of Jesus went to hell. Now let us look at what that word hell means. The word hell is Hades. Uh, Directly from the Greek, it means uh, name Hades or Pluto, the god of the lower regions, Orcus, the netherworld, the realm of the dead, later used was the grave, death or hell. So what it talks about, it talks about the, um, the underworld or the realm of the dead. The best way to say that is, um, your physical body goes to the physical grave and your soul goes to the graveyard of the soul, uh, wherein the soul dies. Now, uh, one might say that's absolute heresy. In the case of Jesus here, he says that his soul was not left in the realm of the dead. Now, what is the realm of the dead? What is the realm of dead bodies? It's the graveyard. So what is the realm of dead souls? It is hell. Now, um, let us look at Strong's definition there, uh, and what, uh, or the root meaning of this, the origin from where this word hell comes from, is from the Greek number one as a negative particle and Greek number four, uh, 1492. 1492, in other words, what this means is, 
It's Greek number one as a negative particle, and then Greek number 1492, um, which is Edo, which means to see. In other words, a negative particle and then to see means not to see. So uh, hell, the place where the soul of Jesus went, was the place where, um, which was called not to see, not to perceive with the eyes, not to perceive by any of the senses, uh, not to perceive, notice, discern, or discover, not to see, to turn the eye, the mind, the attention to anything. In other words, is when your mind and your eye or your attention cannot be turned to anything. Um, where you cannot pay attention, where you cannot observe, um, where you cannot see about anything, in other words, to ascertain what must be done about it. In other words, you don't even know what to do. It is where you cannot in inspect, where you cannot examine, where you cannot look, where you cannot behold, where you cannot experience any state or any condition um, for to see. In other words, to interview. You cannot interview or you cannot visit. So what it's talking about here is a, pl a place of dying or to be dead. So... Uh, the way I see it is that Jesus, is, Jesus faced death. The spirit of Jesus went to the Father. That's what Jesus said, Father, my spirit I give into your hands. The soul of Jesus or the life of Jesus went into Hades, which was the place where there is no consciousness of the soul, which is dead, means death. And this, as, just as the body dies and the body has got no consciousness, in the very same way, um, the soul went into death. It doesn't mean Jesus went into non-existence. It doesn't mean his body went into non-existence. It just meant that his soul died because he went to hell. So those who went to hell goes into death. And then um, hell uh, and the death will be put into the lake of fire, which is the second death, which is a place from where you cannot be raised or resurrected. So um, that is my answer to that. So that is the straightforward, simple answer to what hell is. So in other words, if you don't believe in Jesus and you die, you will enter what the Bible calls corruption or death or the second death um, and then eventually the second death if, you, if you're not a believer. Now you might say, Bertie, what is um, heaven like or what happens to the, um, to the believer when he dies? I believe since Jesus conquered our death, the death of the soul, and we belong to him, uh, like Paul said, we, when we die as believers, we shall be with the Lord. So we will not enter um, a death, but we will be with the Lord. In what way will we be with the Lord? Uh, man, I don't have time. I just spent the maximum of 10 minutes to, uh, to a question. I don't have enough time to answer that, but I'm sure that answers your question, uh, Rena Armstrong. So uh, thank you for asking that question. I know it, it can cause a lot of controversy and uh, a lot of reaction, but I, can also, I also bring, believe it can bring a lot of peace. That is why the whole thing was about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, um, Jesus even said that, he's, that he is straightened or he was sorrowful he says, my soul is sorrowful unto death. Now, what does that mean? His soul was so sorrowful that he felt, that, he felt the death that was already coming to the life that he had. Remember, Jesus laid down his life. So, uh, thank you for, uh, for asking. God bless.